hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use a droyo for creating network diagram let's begin droyo is a powerful and free tool for creating various types of diagrams including network diagrams now the first thing is once you open your browser and go to diagrams.net if you click on the start button you will be forwarded to this space wherein you can choose to save your work or diagram into the cloud storage options such as google drive onedrive dropbox github and gitlab or if you want to save locally on your computer choose the device or if you don't want that just click the decide later now from here what will happen is if you're working with a client and the client has given you a sample network diagram that you can used to begin your work you can click the open existing diagram all right but if you wanted to start from scratch and choose uh, uh your workspace click the create new diagram we're in from here you see these are going to be some of the uh um templates that you can choose from blank generate class diagram simple kanban and at the bottom you have a network diagram where you can begin your work all right so these are going to be some of the samples if you want a more specific approach you might want to type in the smart template because from here all right you can describe your own diagram for example in our case deep laughs youtube channel how to video network diagram and of course just click the diagram type all right click the generate what will happen is it would give you a specific kind of this and if you want this just click on the create template and then once you've selected that you might want to wait for it things while things will be set up all right so the first thing is you might want to familiarize yourself with the uh, interface so if you go to the upper right corner you would notice that there is a section that says format panel and of course if you click on the full screen you would have an option for the shapes right here in the toolbox the toolbox is your left panel right side is format panel and the center panel which is going to be your main dashboard if you click on the plus more shapes right here if you want to add it here you can do that all right if you want to add more but for now i'm going to click on the file button i'm going to import an image here from my device now I'm gonna put it on the center so that's gonna be my diagram right here all right and if you want to add more information here I'm going to add again another file go to the diagram import from device oh now we have it again you can add more shapes and symbols on the left side panel here more shapes if you want to add for example general basic arrows clip art flow chart software activity you have all of these that you can add for example i'm going to add here like this click on apply it will be added here on the left side all right now you have the uh, general i'm going to add a miscellaneous here for example um how about we click on advance this guy right here if you want to add then add something like this and add something like this on the side right here or maybe here and then the label if you want to put in a label for example that you can also do with that here right you have the basic and if you want to for example i want to drop in a connector to connect the shapes and lines and show the relationship type in connector press enter you have all these arrows for example i'm going to be choosing this this is connected to the image all right this one is matter of fact connected to this come on click the end point and connect it to this all right so you have all these options for you not only that you also have an option to change the color here go to fill color maybe type in an orange click on apply you see that 
same goes in this circle the head right here if you want to add um kind of like this it's going to be applied already and while doing so you might want to go to the view and click the layers panel if you want to add a different layer so you can label the network components right for example this is going to be one is for network one layer is for all of the network or maybe diagram and one layer is going to be for all the network so you going to be a lot easier for you to label all right and of course if you're working with multiple freelancers or working with a team members it's going to be a lot easier for them to give feedback give comments and from there they can group and align objects freely by clicking on the share button right here all right click that you would be forwarded to this section wherein you see this option right so you can share this to your client or to your team members now while at it once you're happy with all these diagrams that you have created you might want to go to the file section although draw you automatically saves your work it would be nice to uh make it like uh, a habit to save it by pressing the control plus s on your keyboard or cl just click on the save button right now to export your diagram for maybe sharing or presentation to your client or to your company or to your team members just click again in the file section go to the export as you have all these file formats that you wanted to choose to your desired file um, options you have the png jpeg web ps vg and all these pdf html depending on your preference for example you choose the png if you click that you would have an option for some settings that you might want to adjust right here you have the freedom you can choose from transparent background from appearance to dark or light you can add shadow and grid is it going to be all pages or just current page it's up to you by clicking on the export button you would be forwarded again to the same situation as earlier wherein you were asked where do you want to save it is it going to be your google drive onedrive dropbox github and gitlab or if you want to save it to your computer click on the download button all right for now i'm going to save it to my google drive if you want to back up this network diagram that you have created you might want to click the make a copy all right and choose again to save this data you can choose it again to all of these following options if you want to open a new window just click this or click the download button again remember that the share button is really helpful right here if you're working with a team you can collaborate in real time by saving the diagram to cloud storage depending on what you want to choose share the diagram link with the others and they can edit it simultaneously now if you're working with a specific website for example you want to embed this diagram to your squarespace wordpress or shopify site just click the publish link right here you would be forwarded in this section click the create button you can preview that and this is going to be the diagram that can be embedded to your website and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.